E. All right, let's get started. We need to find your brother's countermeasure, and fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses, and Monarch will be turning Liverport over looking for you. Oh, is that creepy dude's cab? Okay, this is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. Ooh. Guess I'm gonna maybe go up there. Door is probably locked. You got some better solution other than, you know, unlocking the door? Hmm? Listen here, sassy lady. Sorry, a lot going on. There's no way in over here. Ooh, chat. You okay? I just checked the news reports, and Monarch is being heralded as a hero. No, I'm not okay. Because if I had just refused to make that confession... Then you'd be dead. Somebody else would have done it. Doesn't make it easier. <gasps> so, I guess we'll do this again. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Not enough for anything. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Creepy dude. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses who came back from the university. Uh-uh. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. I don't think they'll ever n not be nauseating. <laughs> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Schrodinger. Time travel experiments Cute. with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 a month ago. The first animal test Enough of the to haul a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Mouse, Schrodinger, in order... That's a He's lot of uh, shit. Shit. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine. No wonder you're always coming up with crazy shit. Which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. This reveals <laughs> a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. 
We need to keep Mission our count calibrated to Central in five minutes into the past. I'll find you on the counter missions. He will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the yeah, other. Him talking to Beth. Holy shit! Holy shit! It worked. This, this is clear proof that it's. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, me, future you. <laughs> Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sedmak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. Nothing over here. Riverport University are being treated in the Monarch Solutions Medical Center. Yeah, I totally eat in this cafeteria. And the hospital has released a statement saying they are all now stable. I see shinies. More for me. Upgrade time. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, I like that. But don't have enough. Mm. I love how the radios and shit still work in this little musty crap hall. I suppose that doesn't mean the power is shut off. This means it's gross. Any luck in there? No, thank you. I don't want any Working cookies. Working on it. Why don't you just kick it down? The small lock. Loosen that ponytail. Relax a little. All right. Let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> Nice work. This place gets grosser and grosser the deeper I go. Hmm. This note. Well, I'm not getting there. Directed at me. Aw, oh, dang. Time travel stuff. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure. Gone. Taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. What year is it Holy now? Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? Ooh. Oh. 2016. It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. I'm gonna open this Help door. Me push this out of the way. No, I'm good. Oh. I guess I am gonna help you. I need help moving this. Yeah. Oh gosh, you're so sassy. <clears throat> that was a wimpy Jack, push. Your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. It's not. Well, it sounded you like he thought you had on the door. Measure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. It seems like a really poor attempt at door opening. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. Still gross. But now there's lights. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. I don't wanna. I saw a blip. Oh. More shinies? Yeah. Ugh. Is that enough? Uh, I'm 
All right. Not good that? at math. Nothing else, just more grime and crap. Yeah, flash away. You're helpful. Guess I'll push your button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. A time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. Stuff. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Hey, Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. It's but not related right. to that video. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime no, we're now. we're good. Okay, core controls. Where are they? That's a pretty picture. More pictures. Time machine schematics. The on button. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Mm. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Uh... Where are the core controls? Yeah, because this is not overly complicated or awkward at all. I suppose they're just right in the middle there with the core? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Good on him. He shouldn't have. Hey, Amy. What is this? I don't think you'd believe me. Uh, in the past two hours, I've learned that Monarch is a secret paramilitary. It's a time machine. Okay. I'll compartmentalize that with everything else that shouldn't make sense. You're doing we this rather Jack well. The core controls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why don't you two actually do something? Okay. Anybody check out this map? I swear to God, like I was just looking at that. Is. Oh, you're both so goddamn sassy. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Ugh. Betcha that doesn't do it. But I'll look anyways. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Yep. Let's head to the timey wimey machine. Nothing. None of these consoles even look like they're from the 21st century. It's probably sure as hell knew how to make his life more complicated. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Yeah, so it'll be totally fine Look, here. Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That seems safe. First. Bastardized time machine in an old, run-down swimming pool. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. Or it could blow up and kill us all. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control uh, room. 
Let's do the it here. Are up here according to the monitor. God damn it. Why can't I shift forward? You said Why? Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the countermeasure was stolen. But the machine is still here. Fair enough. Here goes nothing. And kaboom. What was that? Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Now it's okay. We activate the corridor next. Okay. Or the corridor or bridge, no whatever. Should be exposed like that. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, key, go. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah, stuffs. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. Find anything back there? No, nothing I can make That's sense of. That's my brother in a nutshell. Aw, oh, dang. That sucks. That sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it's Whatever, I'm just gonna look at shit over here. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, is this the last one I need? What have we got here? Yes, please. Think that's it for that. Ooh, we go back there. Or not. Yeah, it's just out there. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. <laughs> That is a fantastic jump cut. Oh, another junction, okay. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You were right. 
My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? That does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Man, I love Lance Reddick. He's awesome. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? Probably not. You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. The, hell? Oh. the mansion was an extravagance, but it was useful for events like the gala, and it deflected attention from our nearby R&D facility. You clever boy. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. Hi, Jack. Love you. Uh, I mean... Uh. Stuff. Ooh, car. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. That's pretty hard. Jesus. Shouldn't have done that. Well, this is a little different than uh, the end of Act and 2. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Uh, I'm going to look at my car. So shiny. Just thinking about a road trip I took a long time ago. In a car far less comfortable than this. Let's focus on the issue. But with the comfort of companionship. Fine, fine, fine. So I'm guessing Paul, I'll get two choices again. What should we do about Joyce? I swear to God, man. Calm down. Everyone's so pushy. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Hmm. Up into the past. I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. I love you. Please it was my me. only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? Without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. And for the other one? I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I were aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. As much as I'm under the personal one, he's been playing this for 17 years. It kind of makes more sense to do business. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna go business. We know he loves Jack, but he's, like I said, he's been doing this for a while, so business side again. Keep things cool and collected. Yeah. Uh, it does seem like the best. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Cold as hell. And get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Uh, that gets me really curious. Guessing now we'll have an episode. Oh, geez, 47. That's pretty split. Yeah, so same as before, I'll uh, jump ahead through that episode. Well, I won't jump ahead, I'll watch it. Then I'll put timeline if you want to skip it. I don't think it's going to be important, though. Breathe. Losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No, I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. They're increasing in frequency and duration. They'll dissipate. I've told you that. You need to consider that maybe what you have seen is wrong. It's not wrong. I need to prepare for my speech. Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. some internal affairs. Internal affairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Okay. I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't, uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so... You hang in here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks.
Thanks for the gun. Dr. Ramro? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. What's going on? It's nothing. We were just having a little chat. You should prepare for your speech. Julie, get me, Doctor. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam! No. Told ya. Why am I losing so bad? Bird. I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, so I'm taking mine too. Conquer, 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 conquer. Hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, hey. listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. 
I will put in a good word for you. I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. So you don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Gonna... What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you worked a little too much. Yes. But I... Against it? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, yeah, I love work. Hold oh, it right shit. there! Shit! Hey, you oh. little fuck! Hey, that was... All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab! You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. Right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. I'm glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? What is that? Fuck 
is that? Do you know who I am? Martin Hatch, Paul's um, other half. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I see the monarch's well-being. Oftentimes, the matters Paul may find um, well, arbitrary. So you're his assistant? A little more complex than that. It doesn't sound like it. Now, I can sit here and offer you my condolences for your brother, and, uh, well, you can tell me to fuck off. I could tell you Paul doesn't want you to suffer the same fate, and you could tell me to fuck off. Or, I could point out that there's a difference between Paul and myself. You see, Paul, he... Well, he still has such hope for the world, whereas I lean towards a more realistic approach. Trouble is, I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. Paul's a very dangerous man, practically a zealot. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. Maybe you and I can find some common ground. He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the chronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Jeff. No, 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 no,
liquor. Fiona! The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. That's a stutter? Where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them! Seemed like there was a little bit of importance in that. So maybe head back and check it out if you didn't. But let's keep moving forward. Exciting. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, yeah, I thought this was going to be a rescue. Yeah, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? Trippy I think shit. you're secure. Well, Everyone's concentrating on the party. 